Okay, today we're going to demonstrate the Aikivo and GraceNote music browsing application. It's going to showcase GraceNote's music database and Aikivo's rich media player. So in order to do this, we're going to make a quick search here. We're going to search for an artist called Bob. And we'll do a quick search. Now what it's doing is it's going out now to the internet. and It's going to use Ajax to automatically update each of the different portions of the screen representing different areas of music that the GraceNote database can return. So for instance, the first one here is the actual artists that have been returned. As you can see, there's Bob Marley and the Wailers, Bob Sager, Bob Dylan, and other people, uh, other artists with the name of Bob. So uh, for instance, now that we have Bob Dylan here, we're going to make another search for Bob Dylan. So now it's going to go out again. It's going to go grab all the data about Bob Dylan and come back. And we're going to update everything asynchronously here in the user interface. So as you can see, now it's come back. So what I can do now, now that I've selected Bob Dylan as my artist, I can actually go on down here a bit and actually look at what albums Bob Dylan has produced. So as you can see, it scales up perfectly. That's because the Akivo Rich Media Player uses SVG. So there's no problem with screen resolution, which makes this ideal for mobile devices. So as you can see, all of uh, Bob Dylan's albums here, Greatest Hits, Modern Times, Blood on the Tracks, The Free Wheel and Bob Dylan, this is all of his albums. Now this is just one of the components in the music browser. If we go to the right here, this is actually the tracks for each of those albums. Flown in the Wind, the times they are changing. So it's quite easy to, br to browse around those albums. But there's also more. You can also view actually reviews of that album. So for instance, this is a review of, of Dirty Linen. And they have, it contains 10 matched of old Dylan songs. You know, and you, this, is, this is quite easy to view as well. So we go to the left as well. You also have the biography which is all of its, you know, Bob Dylan's biography, what he's actually done. So as you can see, it's really easy to browse in this, uh, in this application. All of these components are designed for mobile browsing. So it's very easy to I integrate stuff like text and things like that into an application. And of course, at the top, they also have the actual album cover. So that's all well and, that's all well and good. But what you really want to do is also be able to theme this. Not everyone likes a generic blue theme such as this. So what you can also do is use the Akivo IDE to theme this to a different color. So that's what we're going to do next. As you can see, this is the Akivo IDE. This is your emulation view. This actually emulates the exact same telephone that we just ran the application on. It's the exact same software. It does the exact same things. So whatever works here will also work on the telephone, which is very important when you're developing mobile applications. So this is the emulator view. This is the keypad view to actually simulate input into the device. This here is the editor view, where you can actually do all your XML editing, JavaScript, debugging, whatever you need to do to develop your application, which is quite nice. And this is the actual project here on the left. So what we want to do is you actually want to change some of the colors in this theme. So what we need to do is that we actually have an XML file that describes the entire UI of the application, which different components are in it and how it works and things of that nature. But all, all we're going to do for this demo is just, just theme it. So let's just do a quick theme here. I'm going to change the search input text colors, which is the main search input. So first I'm going to change the text color. Let's change that to orange. So I type in orange here in the search input text color entry. And then for the background color, I'm just going to change that to black. So that's, as you can see, that's quite easy to do. Then I just stop the application and I start it again. As you can see now, now the search area is black. And if I make a quick search here, let's say I search for um, DJ, for instance. Now also the text color here is orange. So that's quite good, quite easy to theme. We can test the application, make sure the theming is fine. There's no issues with it. As you can see, DJ pops up, DJ shadow, no issues. So now, now, that, now that's, all, that's all well and good, but we've only themed two things. So what we can do is I've actually pre-made a theme file here that is an orange theme. So what I do is I can just copy all basically these same settings, go back to the original file, paste them in here, like, like so, run the application again, and now it has an orange theme. So if I do the same search for DJ, go out to the web, grab the information, as you can see now it's all here. And of course, you can zoom in, make sure your theme works properly, check out the albums, read the biography, and all, all of that nature. It all works fine. So once this has been tested, now you can actually change this theme and put it on the telephone. It's very easy to do. There's no installation. 
It's quite simple. So what we do is we stop this from running. What happens is that over here in the corner there's actually a UI file that describes how to build the interface. So all we need to do is just drag that to the telephone, like so, drop that in, copy over the old UI interface builder file, come back to the telephone, exit, restart the application, and now it's orange, which is what you want. So now if we do a new search, for instance, like for instance, uh, MAD, do a new search, it goes out to the internet. Now since we're actually going to the internet here, we're actually going to have to connect to it. So here we connect to Telenor. And here comes the text. As you can see, we've actually retrieved all the information, but now our theme is different. If we zoom in again, you can off this is definitely the orange theme that we just created. So as you can see, it's very simple to theme these applications using the Akibo IDE and Rich Media Client.